In this video, we got a sub amp and speakers all installed to the brand new uh, Z that I picked up. It turned out amazing all the way down to the hidden amp and everything. I'll go ahead and show you that. With brand new speakers, head unit, sub behind the seat, and a hidden amp. You can do this yourself, pretty easy, stay tuned. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're bringing you another video on the Nissan 370Z. And uh, if you guys watched the last video or remember, it, we did the radio and I said that it would kind of be in the same theme. Uh, the next video being the same theme of that video. And well, here we are. We are installing a new set of speakers and tweeters into the 370. Um, I'll go ahead and show you them right now. We got us some JLCL six, or 650s, uh, which are six and a half inch speakers. You guys can already see, they're already on the brackets and everything. I already did all this work yesterday, put the wires on and stuff. So I didn't have to um, do it now. I just wanted to make this install as easy as possible. So I picked all this stuff up at uh, Crutchfield, I think is what it was called. Just as the package to uh, fit the 370. So we got the upper tweeters for the dash and we got the door speakers. Um, should sound pretty good, pretty hyped because one of the driver's door speakers is actually blown. So I only have one speaker right now. So um, there's only a couple things we got to take off on the door before we actually go ahead and pull the door panel off. One is this little piece up in here. We're gonna slide a tool under and pop that out. And the other one is down here. Uh, these are gonna expose a total of three 10 mils, one up here and two down there. You're just gonna go ahead and take those off. And I'm pretty sure those are the only actual bolts or whatever holding this on. So the rest of them are clips around the car. And then, yeah. Okay, just start off on the bottom, pop, popping it off with the, with one of your flat pry tools or a flathead. My shit literally popped off like all in one go. It was like super easy. Um, the clips are a little bit of a pain in the ass. Big clips easy, I would say. Get like a, a pick of some sorts to poke down in that tab to pop it out. Um, I'm not gonna mess with these. I'm just gonna leave them on. Pull them out of the way. They're out of the way enough. I do like that this uses like an aluminum insert right here. It's really nice. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and pop this little plug out and then take the speaker out. All right, just, uh, just three 10 mils and that plug and this blown speaker is out. <laughs> Trash. All right, and like that speaker is in. Um, unfortunately, this one down here didn't line up too well, so I just used a bunch of 3M tape and it's pretty sturdy. Also has these two bolts that are perfectly good up here and the plug is plugged in. So I actually ended up coming back in here and fixing this speaker. Um, I ended up cutting that piece and putting a screw in it just because it didn't line up perfectly. So I just cut this little section out and put this in there. It works, it's solid. I did that on that side already and that's all back together. But just wanted to throw that in there. I did end up doing that because I kind of figured that it's going to start rattling eventually. So and I wanted to just get this out of the way, so yeah. All right, this is all done. We're gonna go ahead and move along to the uh, upper speakers in the dash, or at least on this side, and go ahead and pop this off with a plastic pry tool or a flathead. All right, once you pop it out, there's like four screws on it. Kind of hard to get to, just use a wrench and then your fingers and you'll be fine. And uh, pop it out and then just gotta unplug this little connector right here. All right, so that side is all done, put back together. Um, I'm gonna show you what I did for the tweeter on this side, if you guys run into this issue. It was a super big pain in the ass, so I just really wanted to figure out how I was gonna do it over there. And now I'm gonna show you on the side. So we're gonna go ahead and take the door card off and everything again, so just the three screws. The clips all around, the plugs on the back, take the speaker off, it's really simple. There's actually only one plug, not two, for the wind, or for, you don't have the, mirror control stuff on this side, so it'll be easy to get off. Just gotta pop this So off. as you can see, this stuff is out, the cord's unplugged and whatnot, it's sitting here. Um, this is how I did it. Um, I took the, this probably isn't the best way you should solder these, but it'll be all right. I took this wire and I'm just gonna use the stock cable right there, the stock plug. Um, I took these little metal, to get this thing to sit in there, any way I was trying to get it, it wouldn't let the, this piece, sit all the way like flush down and I wanted it to sit flush. So what I did is I took these little metal brackets, there's one left on there, I took these three off and I actually 3M taped this thing, which is hella stuck on there, to this plate that they gave me. And I took three of these and what I'm gonna do is put it in there 
and I'm probably gonna move this one over here or whatnot. And um, I screw the top, I take the screw and go from the top right here down into it. It's kind of hard to do, you have to hold it, but it's the only way to kind of get it to work. So at least that's what I figured out anyway. So as you can see, I just kind of shove this thing down in here and I'll lift it back up and I'll screw it in from the top. You guys can kind of understand what I'm saying. I'll show you when it's done. It's not tightened all the way down, but you guys can kind of get the idea. It works great. And just like that, it's fully tightened in. We'll take this piece, line it up, and she pops in perfectly. Hell yes. So the car is fully got upgraded speakers. All right, so we're back for the second part of this video. Um, we're going to be stubbing, or stubbing? Installing the sub today, and shouldn't be too bad. I already kind of got the power wire run a little bit. Um, I'm going to be putting the sub behind the driver's seat and the amp underneath the driver's seat. I think it'll be fine. I don't think it'll have any overheating issues or anything like that at all. So yeah, we're just going to jump right into it. All right. So we actually go ahead or went ahead and got the radio installed um, with the new dash kit. I told you I was going to order that in the last video and I did. So I got the new dash kit. It all fits a lot better than it did before and it has a surround. Um, as you can see, I got my uh, power, RCAs, and remote wire all running straight under the console. And right here, I'm going to put the actual amp is already sitting in there. Um, this is here because I'm cutting wires and stuff. So I'm literally wiring everything right now. It shouldn't take much longer. It's very simple, really. So yeah, we're just going to keep going. All right, so I actually ended up deciding on just holding off on uploading the video and just kind of finishing up the whole setup, basically, um, right now. I went ahead and got a few things, um, some expandable tubing, like black tubing to cover up or to like go around all the blue wires for the amp and uh, the speaker wires for the sub. Sorry, I'm trying to re-angle it so it's not so much sun in your guys' ass. But uh, yeah, so everything's almost in. I'll kind of show you like what it roughly looks like, I guess. Um, I need to get a different box. The box is a little too big. And when I try to lean back the seat, it unfortunately hits the uh, box and it kind of makes me drive a little weird because like the seats push forwards a little bit. So I'm gonna have to get a skinnier box, but that's okay. It's still bumped for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this and go ahead and work on putting the expandable like tubing around it, I guess. All right, so now it kind of looks like a mess as of right now, but um, you come in here, we can move these wires out of the way. These three wires are the ones coming from underneath the dash. This wire, this wire, and, oh, sorry, my RCAs right here. And these are gonna go inside of the tubing. So you don't, and just tuck them like right up against this. So it's a lot harder to see and you won't really ever notice the blue. Um, I'm not gonna mess with these wires yet because like I said, I have to get a new box because this is a box out of my Miata. I was hoping it would fit because it kind of like slants back enough, but it just it doesn't. So it sucks. But yeah, the amp fits perfectly underneath the seat underneath the seat and everything. So we're just gonna go ahead and tube up these wires. All right, we'll go ahead and show you this. Um, so I actually have my, I don't know if I showed you this before, but I have my ground mounted right there. I sanded down on this bracket and then I actually like sprayed it a little bit. Um, so that's where my ground is and it works good. I have the rest of this right here. Um, so that's all just gonna be tucked right up underneath the seat real easy. Um, but this is what I just did that I was talking about, this expandable tubing. It tucks right up under, or right up against the carpet. It's black, it's not exactly the same color, but it matches good enough to wear, well, it's better than blue, this blue. And you're not gonna see it and it looks a lot better than just having a whole bunch of cables sticking everywhere. Um, I'm not gonna touch these wires yet because like I said, I'm gonna get a new box. So this will be changed where this sits. So I'm gonna have to move these wires, probably run them underneath this shit anyway. So um, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and hook uh, everything back up and show you it. All right, here we go. Like I said, um, I'm not gonna mess with these wires just yet because I gotta get a different box, different size wires, um, change how they're routed and whatnot. So this is just temporary, so I'm not gonna mess with these. I might end up shortening the ground wire just because it's so long and it's literally right there to right there. So I might end up shortening this whenever I do the box. 
but for now it's okay it's all the way on the bottom no one's gonna see it but this looks so much better this is what i um just did i got the rcas the rcas um the remote and the power all ran through there some people might argue that like rcas and power mess with each other like um a higher wattage but this isn't a super high watt setup so i think it'll be just fine um so yeah it looks really clean it's a lot better than just the hella blue wire sticking out once this is all tucked up wherever this ends up going it'll look 100 percent and i probably will end up shortening out shortening that for sure so yeah looks really really good Everything in, in there is mounted. I always wrap these up extra just for extra precaution. I actually kind of need to fix that one down in there a little bit. So yeah, looks good. All right, well, I hope you guys did enjoy that short little video. It wasn't too hard. I hope it helped you guys if you guys were trying to learn how to put speakers in your 370Z or tweeters in your 370Z or anything along those lines. Um, they sound great. I've been playing them a little bit. Uh, just testing them and they sound a lot better than one blown speaker and a stock speaker. I'm sure they sound better than both the stock speakers um, combined. So I'm pretty happy with it. It sounds really good. It wasn't that bad of a job. Just the little only ass thing was the tweeters, but it really wasn't that bad once I figured out how to get it done. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. Comment, anything like that. Please sub. Uh, the more subs, the more we help, the more the channel can grow. Uh, yeah, otherwise than that, I appreciate everything you guys do, and peace out.